Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is update number 11 for my Pandas palette challenge, which means it is the almost the last update. And just as my project polish, I'm filming this a little bit earlier because again, it's gonna be Christmas when I would normally try to um, film my update. So I'm gonna show you my progress now. I didn't get as far on the shadows as I wish I had because I had a week less to work on it but I still made pretty nice progress if you ask me and I have a week more to show you the final results so I guess that's a pro in this um, so let's see the first one as always is my sleek Monaco palette from the Mediterranean collection limited edition and this is where I am on that one as you can see I managed to finish up this um, blue aqua kind of color over there and that was my goal for this update so I'm happy about that I also wanted to f uh, hit the side on the color over here and as you can see I did I only did it today but I did it <laughs> and I've also worked my way this way a little bit you might be able to see that when um, looking at the photos that I always put at the end of the video or the end isn't that side just wherever you want to <laughs> see it um, then I've worked on this one quite a bit as well I was trying to finish half of what was left in the previous update I definitely finished quite a bit but I'm not sure if this is half because I didn't like finish it like this I just worked my way like towards the other side slowly so um, I guess that's something you can see when comparing the photos in the end as well and I have hopes that I will be able to finish this one by like the finale then one of my goals was also to expand the pan on this one quite a bit uh, as you can probably see there is not that much expansion of the pan um, and kind of a reason for that as well of course I was focusing on this one the most and when I finished this I just gravitated towards this green one more than to that red one so I decided yeah why stick with the goal if I can expand the pan somewhere else as well so I've expanded the pan on the green one over here um, did that a nice little bit, not too much, but still happy with that. Um, and then, of course, I've been trying to hit pan on this one for quite a while as well by using it as a blush. Once again, did not succeed. It's still really like hardly pressed in there, but like I said, there is enough pigment coming off of it, so there's no reason for me to like scratch some stuff off or anything like that. But as you can see. Like, it's definitely dipping quite a bit on the side over here as I'm putting my brush in, like, that way. So I'm kind of hoping that at least on that side I will be able to hit pen by the next update, but I'm not sure. We'll see. I definitely won't be able to finish that one by the finale, but I guess I'm going to throw this one in as kind of a rollover to my uh, 2017 project's uh, pen that palette. I'm just join it in with the palette that I'm planning to pen for um, that year. So let's see, just let me just set some goals for my next update. I'm hoping to finish this color over here. I'm hoping to hit pen on this one. Um, I will be working on this one a little bit more and I will try to expand the pen on those two. I'm not really thinking I will be able to finish anything apart from this one over here, but that will at least mean I finished 7 out of the 12 colors. Um, which is not great, but there weren't too many neutrals in this palette, so I guess it makes sense that I wasn't able to finish everything while working like in an office environment as well, like trying to keep my eye looks a little bit on the neutral-ish side wasn't really neutral anymore because I've been wearing green and blue and purple and all these type of colors to work um, but yeah, anyway I'm still pretty happy with the progress that I managed to make I did notice that trying to pen finish or like pen a palette like this and um, like more colorful lip products at the same time is definitely a challenge so um, I think I'm going with a more neutral palette in the next year and then of course I will be working on this one as well so I still have my colors there um, so yeah that's it and let's see if I can 
least finish one more color and expand the pen quite a bit on a couple of the ones that are left in here. And then of course I have my other sleek palette, the Storm one that I'm always showing you guys and I can be really quick with this one once again. Um, I've slightly expanded the pen on this one because I am still using that as an eyeliner but because I'm focusing on the dark blue and the other one the most I can't really use this um, to darken up my outer V because I am already kind of doing that with the dark blue. So I think you're gonna see this one again next year as well and hopefully I can use them a little bit more then. So yeah, that's it for this update. Only one more month to go, so hopefully I can make some nice progress on the last bit still and you guys will see during my finale. Thank you guys very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye bye.